Hi, I'm HD coming to you from the middle of the Hope River. Welcome to another episode of HD's Jazz. Today we will be talking about what lies underneath. mom used to tell countless stories about her and her brothers and sisters going to the river lifting up rocks to get crayfish now here's the problem that I have with that I don't know what's under the rock maybe it's my training but I would rather have some idea as to what's beneath before lifting up the rock in the dental office there are a lot of things that you cannot see with the naked eye. For instance, what does the bone look like? Is it very dense or not? Are the roots of the teeth straight? Are they curved? Are they bulbous? All of those things help to decide how the treatment should go and the order in which things should flow. What about a tooth that's decayed? Sometimes you can't even see the decay unless you look on an x-ray. Is it close to the nerve? Is it far from the nerve? Will the teeth need fillings or will they need root canals? All these decisions can be made once you can clearly see what's going on beneath. We tend to rely on symptoms. If it's hurting, well, maybe we should get it checked out. If you're not feeling any pain, you assume that there's no issue. But a lot of times, sinister things can be happening for a long time before you see any symptoms. So it's always a good idea to have a thorough dental checkup that includes radiographs or x-rays. There are two dental views that we rely on. A periapical radiograph shows the tooth from the biting surface all the way to the end of the root. If there are any abnormalities in the bone, if there are any abscesses at the root, that's a good view to tell me what's going on in that regard. Bite wing x-rays show what's going on in between the teeth. Small cavities that begin between the teeth can be very easily detected with bite wing radiographs. There are different types of x-rays. The orthodontist or the oral surgeon may not be well served with a full mouth series of x-rays, but they may do another type of x-ray known as the panorex. That shows spatial relationship, where the roots of the teeth are in relation to the sinus, or the nerve which runs below the bottom teeth, or where the roots are in relation to the back of the mandible. These are things that that kind of x-ray can tell you. Very valuable information in determining how best to treat. There's always the concern about exposure to radiation and it's a valuable concern but we always have to weigh the risk versus the benefit and in the dental office the benefits far outweigh the risks. Let me explain why. The radiation that you're exposed to in a dental office pales in comparison to say a chest x-ray and the level of radiation that you're exposed to in the dental office is very similar to being outdoors in the sun for an hour or two. So as you can see the benefits of dental x-rays far outweigh the risks. So it's very important to know what lies beneath and the use of dental x-rays is an excellent and efficient way to ensure that you can know beyond a shadow of a doubt to ensure proper treatment. Listen, catch us next time on FYI, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. See you next time on HD's Jazz. <laughs> Get that David guy in doing this again.
Can just increase your body. Okay, go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>